Yeah. I'm Matt Asner, and I want to give you a sneak peek of what's in store for you at this year's tournament. It's all new this year. We're using a cutting-edge platform that allows you to see and talk to your celebrity challengers in real time via live streaming right at your table. This virtual poker tournament is truly groundbreaking and the closest you'll get to in-person live table action. It's light years ahead of the video game vibe we had last year. To test it out, we gathered my dad and some friends at the center for a mock game to give you a small taste of what it will be like. Let's check it out. It all begins with a simple link that you click to enter the room that houses the other players at your table. Once everyone arrives, the table will become live and you'll be able to see and speak with the other players. Gameplay is equally as simple. When it's your turn to bet, a countdown circle will appear around your image and you'll be given 20 seconds to decide if you're gonna bet, fold, check, raise, or go all in. The coolest thing about this platform is the interactivity. You can actually read the other players' faces as they make their decisions and express your joy or regret depending on how the hand goes. Who knows? You may be the 2021 champion and dethrone Clancy Brown. This will be an incredible night of poker for you, friends, and coworkers, raising much needed funds for the Ed Asner Family Center. So break out your sunglasses, grab a drink, stack your chips, and let's play some poker. I'll see you at the tables. Hi! Hello, everyone! Hi. And welcome to the Art of oh. Music! My name is Judy. I'm Aviva. And we are the music and art directors here at the Ed Asner Family Center. And we're so happy to have you today for some more music and some more art. Oh. But first we gotta sing a little hello, are you ready? join us if you were here last week if you remember we talked all about the mother's day and appreciating our moms right and so today we're going to be appreciating the outdoors getting out of our usual environments and doing something fun what do you know a little wild being a little wild, wild. <laughs> <laughs> but also in the idea of getting out of our usual environment getting out of our usual environment and maybe going to Camp and hey. summer. Woo. So along with talking about camping, we are also here to talk about Camp Ed that's happening this summer, starting on July 12th. That's right. July 12th, all the way to August 13th. Yes. So it's going to be five 
weeks filled with so many so different classes. Swimming, art, drum circles, songwriting, cooking, cooking and gardening. improv, and... And so much more. So much more. So yeah, much more. We're like, we're looking at each other. Away. Like this. I don't want to give it away. I know, there's so many things we're, we're planning. Especially since we are the directors, the co-directors for Camp Ed. We've been working really hard putting our our uh, our brain power together to create. And working together to make the camp extra fun this year, safe, and um, working on life skills, working on communication, and just going back to those fun building blocks of friendship because we'll be able to be in person. Yeah! yeah. Woo! But I can't wait. In a very safe way. So we're gonna, yes. I'm I'm the ranger danger. So I'm, I'm gonna be looking out for any danger and making sure I'm in charge of Well, that. no danger, just staying safe. That's right, right. that's right. <laughs> keeping it, keeping it all wrapped up. I'm just here to be cozy in my bear outfit and have a good time with my buddies. So. That's right, that's right. <laughs> But I'm so excited about today because camping is one of my favorite things to do with my family mm -hmm. and just being out in the outdoors and listening to some animals or listening to some camp music, which oh, is yeah. something we'll be doing at camp. We do a lot, a lot of, of camp, camp songs. songs Dude, right? maybe you could teach us some camp songs. Oh, I would love to teach some camp songs. Actually, can we go over and sing a song together? Oh, that sounds good. Oh, all right. Here we go. Here we go. That makes me laugh. All right, everyone. I know we've been thinking of songs all for camp, thinking of what we would sing. One of my favorite songs to sing, especially in the outdoors, when you get to look at all the beautiful, the land, all the beautiful structures, the mountains and the trees, and the rivers and those leaves. I think of a very well-known song. This land is your land. So if you have some rhythm sticks or some shakers, join in with me with singing this song nice and loud. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Islands. From Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. Oh, this land was made for you and me. This land So hopefully you get out there and do some camping things this summer. But something you can look forward to, especially at Camp Ed, is singing one of our favorite camp songs. So if you have something that you can tap, tap two things together, this is just some toilet paper rolls you can use. Just tapping together or sweeping together or maybe even driving together or going underwater together. We're going to sing a little... Boom, chicka, boom, boom. Hey, I love that song. Oh, do you want to join me? Yeah. Oh, all right, ready? 
Okay. I said a boom, chicka boom. 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 I said a boom, chicka rocka, chicka rocka, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka rocka, chicka rocka, chicka boom. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> One more time. One more time. Woo! Let's do the janitor style. So sweep up. Use your sweeper. Here we go. Oh, I said a broom, sweep a broom. 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 I said a broom, sweep a mop, a sweep a mop, a sweep a broom. I said a broom, sweep a mop, a sweep a mop, a sweep a broom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. One more time. Time. Oh, let's do the race. Oh, let's do the baby one. That's my favorite. Here, let's do it. Ready? Oh, Here we go. I said a boom, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka rocka, chicka rocka, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka rocka, chicka rocka, chicka boom. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, one more time. Let's do underwater. I said a boom chicka. Oh, I said a boo chicka boo. 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 Oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Ha ha. That was so good. I love that one. I love the repeat after me song. Right? It's one of our favorites to do. At camp. We'll be doing lots of those this lots summer. So hope you were able to join along with us and follow Viva and doing our repeats. But I think it's now time to do a little Yeah, let's get little crafty. Art. Let's Hard get crafty. Let's get crafty. Come on, guys. Let's go. Hi, welcome back. We've got a nice sturdy table in front of us, and I hope you too, you do too, because we're going to get very crafty right now. Mm -hmm. Roll up your sleeves. So we are going to roll up our sleeves and get ready. It looks like some of our paper is kind of disappearing, <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. A little bit of a forest is coming through, but that's a okay. We are going to get started. We're just going to go over a few materials that we'll be needing today for this super fun project that helps you get outdoors out of the usual environment and use some materials that you wouldn't usually think would be usual art materials, right? Some natural ones, like we've talked about in many other classes. So for today's class, we are going to be making leaf prints. Ooh. So in any type of art project you can do, you can incorporate this into your project. So we are going to be needing some leaves today. Leaves that have nice textured, oh it's disappearing. <laughs> Look oh, at the Maybe I can show you a little bit of a close-up here for our materials. And so you can see the perfect type of, the, of leaf that you will need. And you can see these lines that come up through the leaf. They're called the veins of the leaf. And attached to the stem is where you'll find these. And you want a leaf that has lots of beautiful veins in it. So you want to find a few different types so you can have some variation for your leaves. And then second, you're going to want a, a nice thick piece of paper. I'm using a watercolor paper today. And then Third, you are going to need some type of roller. Today, I have a printmaking roller. It's a rubber roller that works really well. But if you do not have this, this is not usually your um, easily found household item, you could also use a rolling pin. A rolling pin works just as well when we're making our prints. And we are also going to be using different types of acrylic paint, but you could also use watercolors, gouache, tempera paint, so many other different choices that all make different types of results when you use them. So really try it out with a bunch of different choices. They all will make different types of patterns. And so finally, some water and a paintbrush and some paper towels. So I think it's time for us to get started. What do you think, Judy? 
Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so we are going to put our peep, our paper that we're going to be printing in just a further up. We don't need it quite yet because we want to start prepping our leaf. Judy, you want to print a leaf too? Yes. Okay, so let's give Judy a piece. And so you want just a piece of paper to work off of. And so, Judy, here's your leaf. So what you're going to want to do is find a side that has... You want to look for like the back of the leaf where you can see a lot of the veins, a lot of the stems, and you want to paint on that side because when you press it, that's where you can get the best results and see a lot of those marks and designs. You could also try it on the front too. That'll also work. So when I first did this project, I thought you were going to you need like a lot of paint and you don't need a lot of paint because if you use too much you just end up with a big splotch of paint on the paper mm. so you don't need a lot of paint you don't even need that much water so judy i'm just going to paint on my leaf and while i'm printing it you can paint on yours okay, okay. so i've got a few different nice colors here and what you're going to want to do is cover the whole leaf, okay, in a very light layer of paint. And you can see that it starts to bead up. And that's okay. So you can do some red and some spots. Try and do like a variety of colors so you can get a nice like ombre kind of blending of the colors. You want to make sure you're using colors that are very complementary, you know, colors that will blend well together because you might end up with like a lot of black if you mix a bunch of colors together that don't blend quite well. Like the purple and the blue make kind of like a brownish in the middle. So we'll see what happens. But you see yellow. my little yellow and we're just covering this whole leaf here. You can even cover the stem. Okay, and so I've got my whole leaf covered. Judy, you can get some in yeah. I'm going to show you a little bit closer up what mine looks like. You can see I've got everything covered here. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your piece of paper and you're going to take your leaf and just lift it up. You kind of already have a cool leaf, inverted leaf print already. Ooh. And you just place it somewhere on your piece of paper. I'll place it in a spot so you have some room to eat. And we're just going to take one of our paper towels here, and we're going to just lay this over the top of our leaf. So it kind of protects our roller a little bit, makes it a little bit less of a cleanup. And we're going to be taking our roller and just rolling right over our leaf, pushing really hard. Our first print will definitely show up. It might not be as like, uh, the print might not show up as well as it will the second time because there's still a lot of paint on it, even if you do a thin layer. So let's see how our first print looks. So after rolling it, there's our leaf. Let's bring it up a little bit closer to the camera so you guys can see a good look. And you just slowly peel it off into a really pretty leaf design here. And you can still see those veins. Ooh. And you can see that it did smudge a little bit, so you can even use the paint that's still left over on the leaf and try again. And since there's not as much paint, you can just kind of go for it without the paper towel if you'd like this time. And just roll over that leaf. It also helps to press the leaves beforehand too to make sure they're extra flat if you have a curlier leaf. Ooh, and I love the way it looks the second time around because it's a little bit lighter, but you can see those veins even more. And it just gives you a really cool, beautiful textured wow. look. Ooh, beautiful, Judy. Do you want to try and print your leaf now? Yes. It looks like you've got a lot of color down. It's really beautiful. So find a spot to flip it over and just press it on there. Ooh, ooh. It can cover, too. That'll look nice if you layer it. If you layer it. All right. So now you can do the honors. We just place our paper towel over it, and you're going to roll over everything. So I'll hold it kind of sturdy for you here. Ooh, this is fun. This is like a two-person job, too, if you wanted to work together. Yeah, that's why if you, usually if you press your leaves before so they're not as curly, you don't even need that second pair of hands. But uh, this is a good way to remember it. Try a few more times. A few more times. 
What were you saying? This is a good way to remember a trip. Like if you go to a, a like a beautiful forest and you bring some leaves home. This Definitely. is like a good way to remember that trip. Yeah, because some Almost forests like, um, have different types of leaves. Oh, <laughs> oh there you go. Careful because your leaf will get connected to your paper. But this looks incredible. Look at the Ooh. little spots that it made on Judy's too. It makes it look like its own little tree. Doesn't it look, look like, like a little tree? tree? It looks like a tree, yeah. That's cute. Very nice. So this is your basic leaf print here. So if you guys want to try this at home, all that's required is going outside and finding some really cool leaves that you can print with. Try different types of leaves. Maybe later me and Judy can try printing with this like um, multiple leafed leaf. Yeah. <laughs> and really go for it. Even these two where we've painted on top of the paper look really cool as well. So, so many different ways that you can use natural products in our art and as art materials. So don't feel like you have to go to the art store to get all your materials. Go out into your backyard, get creative, find some things on the floor, just like how we did in our gardening class. You know, you can find so many things in your garden, in your backyard, that are great tools, natural tools, eco-friendly tools that you can use in your art. Yeah, I love that. This would be such a good, like, um, if you've got like a bunch of pictures of you going somewhere, maybe, and then making a scrapbook. Yes, and then you can add your prints into your scrapbook, and maybe even your cool painted leaves, too. Yeah, and your cool painted leaves. This, even this is pretty, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty, though. It's it. really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, speaking of going outside, I think we knew, we know two little ladies that are on a trip right now oh. that might want to chat with us. I think so. <gasps> Nice day we've had out here in the woods, right? Camping is so much fun. Oh, I love being out in the woods. Mm -hmm. It's so nice to be uh, listening to the water, going on hikes together, even listening to the birds now. Yeah, what natural music that we have right now. It sounds almost like an orchestra. Ooh, like all the little crickets are singing and making music just for us. Mm -hmm. I can hear crickets, but I can think I can also hear hmm, like a stream in the distance as well. Oh, me too. Oh, yeah, I hear the streams, especially when it's so so dark. You can hear a lot of things at night just listening to to a beautiful forest. Yeah, I agree. Sometimes you know, getting out of your natural environment, out of your home, your neighborhood, and just relaxing and Listening to the sounds of nature is so relaxing. I hear some frogs. Do you hear frogs? Ooh, I hear some frogs too. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Mm -hmm. Friends at home, if you hear anything in our little natural orchestra that's happening, you can comment below and tell us what you do. Because there are so many different types of sounds that you can hear outdoors, getting out and taking them through areas. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, that's my favorite animal. They're so smart and the best. Mm, yeah, they're so beautiful. I just love being in the forest, relaxing and taking some time off and finding some ways to be one with nature. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we should get some shut eye. We've got a long day ahead of us. Maybe we should go kayaking tomorrow. Ooh, yeah. that sounds beautiful. I can hear that lake and it's just calling my name. Oh, 
lake is calling. I must go. All right. <laughs> you should sleep. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome back. We've got a little campfire here. We're getting toasty. I hope you guys had so much fun with our class today. I love camping. If you guys love camping, comment below. What is your favorite part of camping? What's your favorite place to go camping? Oh, There's yeah. We all need some up and down California, even in other states. Maybe you love camping. Do you like camping? Like, I love camping, which is kind of Airbnb and going to hiking. Or do you That's like That's lamping for oh, you. That's not camping. I think, I think it's camping, but just like nice camping where you, you, you know. No, camping in the camp, cabin camping is for so everyone. cabin. Camp, 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 camping. Camp, camp, or you camp, get an camp. RV and camp that way. I've got a camp that way. That's a fun way to camp. Yeah, that's definitely an RV. Definitely a good or are you roughing it? Do you get into those tents and you put it up and you get in your sleeping bag? I like bag? it that way because then, you know, you're like really getting into nature. Maybe you sleep on a rock, but that comes along with Camping. Well, I think you actually like sleeping in like a dark cave and staying there. Oh, for that's pretty true. Yeah. I'm, I'm, when it comes to hibernating, I, a little rock doesn't bother me with all this work. So please share all of your fun camping ideas and songs that you like to sing right next to the fire with your friends and family and loved ones. And I hope that you come back next week for some more art of music. Yeah. And I can't wait to see you. But now it's time to sing our. Song. But before you go, make sure to check our website, teafc.org, to check out more information about Camp Ed and all the incredible activities and fun times that we're going to be having this summer. And all our plans, because we're doing our five-week program. is all about the different levels of the hierarchy of me from Maslow's hierarchy of me. Mm -hmm. That's how I say it the levels of the stages of the hierarchy of me mm -hmm. so coming along with learning of how to self-love how to love others self uh, safety protection and things like that so we're really working with everyone to gain new skills some life skills some abilities that are trying new tasks or new uh, ventures with us with our five week right like we have camping is one then we have camping. We have well, it's into the woods. That's right. Into wild, the woods. wild west. Ooh. Then we have under the sea. Oh yeah. Ooh. Heroes week. Uh -huh. And then to finish it all off, we're gonna be ending with island week. Oh, that's right. And we'll be ending it with a really fun luau. I think someone's gonna teach me how to how to do the. The, the what's that dance right yeah. the hula i'm gonna learn how to hula this year i'm excited yeah we're gonna be doing those really fun activities and staying cool once it starts to get really hot so summer. you won't want to miss it so make sure to check out our website ask us some questions email us leave some comments below and i can't wait to see you this summer and next week yeah all right Woo! let's go do our goodbye song Oh, there's my handy dandy gave up. Aha! <laughs> See, when you're in the forest, sometimes you misplace things. Are you ready to sing with me? Here we go. La, 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 la. Good.